for a very early walk. It's only 7.20. This one's not feeling so good. She did sleep all night, but she woke up at 5.30 just, I know she was in pain. Um, she barely, barely ate her breakfast. I gave her a waffle and some strawberries. She ate like a couple of pieces of strawberry and like one bite of waffle. So, it doesn't feel good. No, those shots made you feel awful. Hmm? And she sat on my lap for 15 minutes while I did some work on the computer, which is very abnormal for her. Normally she won't let me be anywhere near a computer if she's awake. <laughs> let alone sit on my lap and not try to touch it. So, poor sweet thing. In unrelated news, is there anything sadder than a bunch of deflated Santas in a lawn? <laughs> I love the blow up Christmas ornaments or Christmas stuff that people put on their lawns. But the next morning, when they're just face down deflated balloons, so sad, so sad. What do you think? You think it's so sad? Oh, yeah, you do. That was a very eventful Facebook Marketplace pickup. <laughs> so you can see right here, the learning tower. It's like super dirty, gross, but hey, I can clean it. And it was $100 less than a new one would be. So A plus for that. So we drove like 25 minutes. We met this lady who owned it at Petland. And I thought well, I had measured that it would fit in the car, but it was like too big to fit in the trunk by like an inch and a half. I couldn't wedge it in there and I couldn't get it in any other way. So she lived a mile away. So she went home, got a screwdriver. We took it apart. Now it's in pieces. <sighs> Nova obviously was very unhappy about being in the car for half an hour. <clears throat> and then just hanging out in a parking lot. So then I took her inside Petland to look at the animals, which pet peeve, it upsets me. Petland is selling animals like they're not adopting animals out. They're actually selling like very specific animals, which bothers me. Like I used to volunteer at the Humane Society and like there are so many dogs and cats that need love and need good homes. If I wasn't allergic, <laughs> we would have one or multiple. And like they offer financing, like $3,000 for these pets. And it's like, <laughs> it like gets me because it's so, like there's so many animals. You could go to your humane society and like prevent an animal from being euthanized instead of financing it through. I didn't know they still did that. Otherwise I wouldn't have probably gone in there because the pet store by us only does adoptions. They work with local animal shelters. I hear you. She's so unhappy about being in the car again. But when I came out of the pet store, the lady was still there because her battery had died in her car. And I don't have jumper cables, but I have what's called a jump pack that my in-laws bought me a few years ago. And my husband is so thankfully, I'm so thankful for him in many, many reasons. But one of the things he does for our family is he charges the jump pack every three months. And I've never had to use it, but I've used it, this will be the second time to help someone else. 
um, because you plug, it's like a portable battery pack that's strong enough to start your car. So I was able to jump her, get her car started, and she's gonna go straight home and her husband's gonna look at the battery. So I was like, oh my gosh, like how crazy is that? She went home, got a screwdriver for me so we could take the thing apart and put it in my car and then I was able to jump her. So we were just helping each other and she was a really sweet, sweet grandma. Um, and I, that was just so eventful. And now it's 1120, that took forever. <clears throat> so I'm gonna go home. We're about 25 minutes from home. I think I'm gonna stop and get lunch with Nova because it's Thursday. So we're supposed to be having mommy Nova day. She's just so miserable because she had those shots. She had a fever this morning. Mm. I gave her some ibuprofen when she woke up from this last nap. So we'll stop and get some lunch. Somebody gave me like a coffee on, on coffee, like a little um, donation and was like, hey, use this to do something special with Nova. And so we're gonna go have a date, a lunch date. I don't know, hopefully she'll eat. <laughs> I'm gonna find a place a little closer to our house. I don't wanna put her in the car after lunch for a long time. So yeah, <laughs> what an eventful morning. You okay? Oh. You got a fistful of Cheerios? That was an eventful drive home. <laughs> We're not even home yet. She fussed the whole way home and then she, she actually got to the point where she was crying, like screaming so much that she started coughing and choking which that makes me nervous. So I, we were driving by the mall at that point, so I whipped into the mall <laughs> and got her out of the car because I don't want her to like throw up or choke herself in the car seat like while I'm driving. That makes me really nervous. <clears throat> so we went inside, I was like, we need to eat something. I can't put you back in the car right now and it's lunchtime anyways. So we were at the mall. Normally we would go to like Chick-fil-A or something, but the line for Chick-fil-A because it's lunchtime was like 15 people deep. So we got Chinese food, baby's first Chinese food. I got chicken, broccoli, and noodles. And I saw that like they package it in front of you. There's no like weird magic that goes on, but what I got handed in the bag that went with me, not chicken, broccoli, and noodles. It was rice and some other kind of concoction. And I only found that out after we were on the other side of the food court and she was bibbed and strapped into her chair and I had set everything up for her to eat. So I was like, oh, like, do I go back or do I just call it? So I was like, okay, we have to go back because she can't really eat the rice. It's like, she can't pick up individual rice kernels. That's crazy. And I can feed her some, but like I wanted her to have noodles and chicken and broccoli. So I unpacked her from the high chair. We went all the way back and they were like, oh, okay. So then they made me a new one. And then I got back and it was, chicken and rice and noodles no broccoli and by that point I was like well you're just not having broccoli today <laughs> I'm not going back a third time the baby is starving I'm hungry so we just had a very beige meal of chicken and noodles and I fed her a couple of spoonfuls of rice like on a fork so she could eat that She's in a pretty good mood at the moment, and we are gonna go straight home. Oh my word, there's a crazy accident over here. Can't really see what's going on. And I wouldn't wanna zoom in on someone else's pain anyways. Like the accident must have just happened. Long enough for there to be a ambulance and fire truck there, but that's it. So, oh my gosh, I hope, I hope they're okay. I see some stretchers. That's, that's a terrible day to get in a car accident like that. I don't know what I was saying. It's not important really compared to that. So a box came in the mail just now and I opened it and I, I didn't know, I, I saw who it was from and I just assumed it was a box that was used, like they had gotten a box and put some stuff in it and sent it to me. But no, it's actually from that company because my dear friend, Emmy sent us a present and it's from Penzi Spices. And it has a hug blanket inside and some steak seasoning, hot chocolate mix. That's definitely getting used immediately. The mural of flavor, salt-free, which I am trying to limit all the salt intake. 
so that will be used all the time. And <laughs> Penzi's frozen pizza seasoning. That's hilarious. That must mean it makes things taste like pizza. <laughs> That's amazing. Thank you, Emmy. That was like, I'm gonna put the camera down and open the blanket so you can see. That's so cute. I love it. And actually, I am pretty sure this is going to be stolen by Nova. Maybe not right this second, but fairly soon. She loves bright colors and she loves soft things. I can just see this on her bed when she gets a toddler bed and not a crib. This tower is too big. Boo! It's like, it didn't have the, because I bought it secondhand, it didn't have the width measurement. It is exactly as wide enough as the cabinet, which is fine, but it comes out like two feet from the cabinet and technically our kitchen is big enough to handle it, but I'm gonna be tripping over this thing. So I don't know, I may try to resell it and find a different one that's smaller and just use it for a couple days in between. <laughs> but I don't know, it's massive. Like I put Nova in it and she's like this little itty bitty baby in there. And of course it has levels so it would be, you know, different based on when she grows, but that's probably, I don't know, it's so big. I think I need to list it on Facebook Marketplace and get a new one. We are at the park. Nova's roaming about in the grass, which is a great sign. She's not on top of me. <laughs> She's currently bear crawling around, which I'll try to get some video of. We we're at the park for two reasons. One, she hasn't been outside at all today and she hasn't really had a chance to like move her body at all because she felt so awful this morning and then we were all over the place today. The second reason is mommy needs some regulation and grounding time. <laughs> because I am annoyed, frustrated that that learning tower is not going to work. And what I want to do is throw like an adult sized temper tantrum about it. I want to be like, ugh, stupid. And like, ugh. not only is it way too big, I tripped over it <laughs> because it has a piece that sticks out at the bottom to help stabilize it. Um, so I tripped over it and like stubbed my toe really hard. Is it a big deal? No, my toe is fine. But you know how like things get to be the last straw sometimes? I was so irritated, which clearly <laughs> it's a frustrating situation because I wanted, I thought that it was gonna fix our issue, but it doesn't work. So instead of being angry or upset or frustrated or grouchy about it or throwing an adult temper tantrum, I'm going to practice resilience and modeling resilience for the baby. Now, does she care at this age what I'm doing? No, not really. <laughs> but if I don't practice now, it's really going to be hard when she's a toddler and when she has language and, you know, she's watching everything I do. So I could be irritated and upset for the rest of the day that this didn't go the way I wanted to, or I can practice what I hope to teach her, which is that, yeah, things are really frustrating sometimes. Like it's this is what this is the script I'm telling myself. It's really frustrating that you found something you thought was gonna work really well and you went there, you got it, you brought it home and you went through the work to assemble it only to figure out that it's not gonna work at all. That's really frustrating. It's okay to be frustrated about that. That's it. That's what I'm telling myself. And now I think what can I do to kind of get myself out of that frustrated place and be in a better place? One of them is be outside because it's a beautiful day with a beautiful breeze and the baby needs outside time anyways. And so here we are. 
we're outside. And I honestly feel way better already. It's probably a good thing actually, silver lining, that I got this one. I've already relisted it on Facebook Marketplace because I wouldn't, even if it wasn't too big, I would not have known that I need one without that little piece sticking out the side because for sure, a thousand percent, I will trip over that. Not just once, like a hundred times I will trip over that. I will kick it and I will stub my toe a million times. So it's probably a good thing that I didn't buy a brand new one <laughs> only to find out that that was the case. So yeah, I don't know if that's helpful at all, but like this is the regulation, right? If I can't regulate my own self, if I can't calm my own self down, if I can't acknowledge a frustrating situation and then move on from it, then how will I ever expect her to do that? So I have to practice now. <laughs> I'm practicing before I start preaching. Nova, what happened to your face? What did you do? Are you playing in dirt and then rubbing it in your eyeballs? Are we sure this child belongs to me? My face never looked like that, ever. Do you know how much I love you, Nova? You are covered in dirt, covered. And I'm holding you. I would never let another person who was covered in dirt touch me. That is not who I am as a person. I don't like it. And you barely got the dirt off of her face. <laughs> I need to get her a sandbox is what I need to do. With this one? In here? Yay! But in there? Yay! How about this one? These one? You taste it? Tasty asparagus? Yeah. This one? Yay! How about this one? Oh, you gotta put them in the thing. Put them in the pan. Put it in here. Put in. Put this one in. No, but look. Look. Hey. This one. Look. This one. In. You do it. Oh, and there's another one. How about this one? <laughs> you gonna put them on the counter? Those are asparagus. This is why we need a learning tower. So it is way too big and I've definitely tripped over it. And I'm getting a different one, for sure. But she is living the dream right now. Put asparagus in a pot at counter height? My gosh. Okay, so we're starting over because it turns out the center of that asparagus bunch was nothing but mold. And I don't know which ones were infected and I'm not about to risk it with a baby. So we are going to do zucchinis instead. Nova, look. Put the zucchini look, in the pot. Put the zucchini in the pot. Now you do it. Put it in the pot. Yay! Put it in the pot. You can't crush it. It's a raw zucchini. Put it in the pot. Good job. You did it. <gasps> You're doing so good. You put it in the pot. Put it in the pot for dinner. How about this one? Oh, that's two. Can you do two? Oh, you put it in the pot. Yay! More? Yeah. You put it in the pot. Put it in the pot. Yay! How about this one? Oh. This one? Oh. Oh, you got two. Can you put it in the pot.
It's 9.30. It's almost past my bedtime. But I'm just popping on to say goodnight. The baby was so tired and so not feeling well from her vaccines that she actually went to bed at 6.30. She was almost asleep when I was rocking her. And when I put her in the crib, she didn't even, she just rolled over and like went completely limp. And she's been asleep for three hours. <laughs> so I celebrated by eating chocolate covered Oreos with peppermint pieces. If you have a Trader Joe's near you, they're called peppermint Jojo's. And I had a cup of hot chocolate, which is the, oh, it was so amazing. And then we watched 8-Bit Christmas. Oh, it's on HBO Max. It was really cute. I didn't do any crochet because I was very involved with holding my hot chocolate and watching the movie. But oh my gosh, what a good night. <laughs> what a good night. I'm so happy. So I'm going to go to bed now and hopefully continue this happy feeling until tomorrow morning. Sweet dreams, everybody.